Welcome to Wildlife Quest. Today we are starting our tour of Wildlands Adventure Zoo M. If you want some more background on the zoo, be sure to check out my previous video introducing it. We are starting off our tour with Nortica, one of the three main areas the zoo opened with in 2016. This area takes you through the colder biomes and coastal regions of our planet without sticking to any particular continent. So, without any further ado, let's start our tour. You enter Nortica from the main entrance plaza where you soon find yourself engulfed in a small fishing village. Immediately on the right is a rocky shoreline home to South American fur seals. These pinnipeds thank their name to their thick layers of fur which protect them from the cold waters. Unlike true seals, fur seals can easily traverse on land, just like sea lions. They have been seen climbing rocks up to 50 meters high to rest after a swim. Another thing they have in common with sea lions is their external ear flaps. Speaking of which, the Californian sea lion can also be found in this enclosure. These animals are covered in a thinner layer of fur, not to keep them warm, but to protect them from the Californian sun in their natural range. Further along, you'll find another sea lion enclosure and an open air theater where sea lion presentations are held. Here you'll learn more about the species, but also the whys and hows of their training program. The pinniped enclosures in Nordica have wave machines to make it resemble the animal's natural habitat even more. Also found in this area is the Arctic One, a 4D simulator ride which has visitors enter a research vehicle as they embark on a journey across the poles. Before boarding this vessel, you might notice some infamous rodents in a nearby warehouse. The Brown Rat, originally found in East Asia, due to their adaptability and human travel, the brown rat is now one of the most widely spread mammals around the world, found on every continent except Antarctica. Next up, Raccoon Creek. This section was originally home to penguins, but in 2019 this area was transformed to represent their new inhabitants. Before entering the sawmill, you can get a look at Siberian red squirrels in an enclosure on the left. When you do enter the sawmill, you can peer into the habitat on the left, home to raccoons and striped skunk. Unfortunately, none of the inhabitants were showing themselves today. The zoo received the raccoons from an animal shelter who had caught them in the wild, where they are seen as an invasive species, since they have now become a threat to local ecosystems here in the Netherlands. On the other side of the sawmill, you'll find Nordica's latest addition. After the idea for an aviary was scrapped, the zoo opened this Eurasian beaver enclosure in 2022. The beavers also weren't really showing themselves today, hiding out in their simulated beaver den, which can be viewed from a small shed next to the sawmill. Next, you can walk through a shipping container to go to the next area, or take a little detour to see the zoo's snowy owl. The yellow eyes of this owl species signify that it is diurnal. During the day, they can easily prey on various rodents in snowy areas. Next, we ascend to the NLC research station. Here you can find various aquaria featuring fish from the North Sea, such as cat sharks and spotted rays. The full list of species will be in the description below. At the research station, you can also find the sonar station, which teaches you about noise pollution in the oceans and the negative effects it has on whales. At the research station, you can also grab a snack while you have a nice view over the polar bear and penguin bays. On the left, you'll find Humboldt paintings, which you can also view from the deck of this decommissioned tugboat or from this underwater viewing area. These penguins are not found in Antarctica, but along the Pacific coast of South America, where they are currently considered vulnerable. 
Luckily, the zoo has had a lot of success breeding this species. Of course, penguins eat fish, and where there's fish, there's usually seagulls. And there were, not so long ago, but to deal with this plague, the zoo recently got two steamer ducks. These territorial birds tolerate the penguins, but keep the seagulls away. From the underwater viewing area, you'll also notice another habitat. Unfortunately, no one was swimming here today. And when we head back up, you'll see. It's the Polar Bear Bay. The zoo has two sloped natural looking polar bear enclosures. Today, the polar bears didn't really feel like doing much, but I have seen them making good use of their habitat before. And that concludes our tour of Nortica. You can head back to the entrance plaza to enter a different biome, or you can take the meridian path as a shortcut into Saranda, which will be our next destination in our zoo tour with Wildlands Adventure Zoo Emma. As a final message, I'd like to encourage you all to help protect the world's wildlife. There's always something you can do to help, from donating to just spreading the word. Since we have been touring Nortica today, I'd like to highlight an organization which the Wildlands Nature and Education Foundation also supports, which is Polar Bears International. The organization conducts research and is committed to conservation. You can learn more about them and what you can do to help them on their website, which will be linked in the description. One of the easiest things you can do to help is sign a petition on this website. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on Wildlife Quest.